we can run through these. Wearing the helmet of salvation's forgiveness component means we're like the woman that Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. Boom. You're cleansed. And that means that we believe that. We never again have to feel guilty. Have you experienced the relief of knowing that all of your sins, all of them, are gone? If you really have, you tell people about it. You tell them, I was a great sinner. Christ is a great Savior, like John Newton. How about the, the uh, justification component? What we say is because we're justified, we never have to feel condemned. Therefore, having been justified by faith, Romans 5, 1 says, we have peace with God. And, and there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ. We know that. Have you experienced the peace of justification? All guilt gone? Knowing that Jesus was punished enough, I don't have to punish myself. How about this regeneration, this new beginning stuff? I never have to feel hopeless. Christ died to make me vibrant and full of endless life. Have you experienced the power of an endless life? Do your neighbors know that you're going to live endlessly? Do they think of you as a fire hydrant of the water of life? I mean, do they just say, wow, you're getting me too wet with all of your overflowing life. Could you cut back a little bit? Or are they not aware that you and I have been regenerated and redemption? I never have to feel useless. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 says, you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God. Have you experienced the thrill of being liberated and set free and rescued by God for a purpose? Do you check in with him every day? Say, what did you redeem me for today? What do you want me to do in the marketplace where I work or live or travel or school or whatever? You know, someone told me to go visit their mom, that she was all alone and really sad, and I got there. Every verse I quoted, she finished. Every song I started, she sang. The people that stopped in all talked to me about her, and I thought, she should come visit me, you know? You see, she, she knew she was redeemed, and she was living it out in the little room, which, by the way, was locked when I got there, and they locked it back when I left. But she didn't feel trapped. She was serving the Lord. How about the adoption component? You never have to feel lonely. We have the spirit of adoption. Have you experienced the joy of knowing you're adopted into Christ's family? And how about the reconciliation component? In Romans 5.10, it says, you were reconciled to God through the death of his son. I mean, the way we were friended by God is that he killed his son so we could become his friend. That's a pretty high price. That means that he was very serious. Christ died to take me from being an enemy to make me his friend. Have you experienced the wonder of friendship with God? Wow. And finally, sanctification. In Hebrews 10, it says, He has perfected, that means matured and shaped forever, those who are being sanctified. And he said in Romans 8, everything is working together for, for God's good. He is, he is using every, he is up in the command center bringing everything into your life, every, what we would call disappointments and struggles and problems and troubles, and those are all beautiful polishing agents to, to make us more reflective of Christ. That's what sanctification is about. Christ died to take our soiled, spotted lives that always get wasted and make them clean and focused and eternally fruitful.